We want to go to Ottawa, though, because we've got some breaking news. CTV's Glenn McGregor is in the chair with more. Glenn, what are you hearing? We've just learned, Todd, that Jerry Butts, who is the Prime Minister's principal advisor, was until uh, earlier today, has resigned, and the Prime Minister has accepted his resignation. This, of course, is all over the SNC-Lavalin story. Uh, Butts uh, saying in a, the press release that he never pressured Jody Wilson-Raybould, the former Justice Minister, to take any action or, or not take any action uh, involving SNC-Lavalin, categorically denying any wrongdoing, but also saying, Todd, that no person is bigger than the Prime Minister's office and that uh, his resignation is now in effect. This is uh, hard to uh, 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 overstate what a bombshell this is. Uh, Butts has been a close friend of Trudeau, going back to their days at McGill University. Uh, he worked on his campaign. He and Katie Telford are his two closest advisors, probably is one of his closest friends as well. So this is a major earthquake uh, up here on Parliament Hill today. Yeah, and, you know, for Canadians watching, Glenn, they may not be necessarily familiar with the name Gerald Butts, but as you're saying, I mean, this is a guy who was so crucial to the Prime Minister's political career and often considered to be such a close ally. I believe at one point the Prime Minister even said to the Liberal caucus, you know, when Jerry Butts speaks, he speaks on behalf of me. So very crucial to Justin Trudeau's trajectory and, of course, the past three and a half years in terms of the policy we've seen from this Prime Minister being enacted. Uh, that's right. I mean, Jerry Butts was essentially convinced Trudeau to run for leader of the Liberal Party. They had uh, meetings back in uh, 2012, uh, him and Katie Telford, who are both experienced from Queen's Park in provincial politics. And they got together and, and looked at all the uh, options facing Trudeau and decided they were going to back him. He's been with him every step of the way, as I say, going back to their their, their days uh, as, as friends at McGill University. Um, unquestionably, one of the most powerful figures in Ottawa, and now he's gone. It's a, a, a major upset for the government. Now, the uh, opposition wanted to hear from Mr. Butts at the Justice Committee, which is looking into the SNC-Lavalin affair. Uh, they wanted to have him on the list of witnesses. That committee is going to meet tomorrow and in private, in camera, and decide who they are going to call. Liberals uh, who have a majority on that committee were initially reticent about calling Butts or about calling uh, Jody Wilson-Raybould. So now we're going to have to see how this affects that decision and whether or not the Liberals on that committee will allow him to testify about what exactly happened. Now, take you back a little bit. We know that Butts had been lobbied by SNC. He had meetings or conversations with people from SNC about justice issues. We think it was involving these deferred prosecution agreements. But again, he's maintaining that he never put any pressure on Jody Wilson-Raybould to try and uh, enter into one of those agreements with SNC on the criminal charges they were facing related to um, alleged bribery and corruption involving contracts in Libya under the Muammar Gaddafi regime. So this is going to be really interesting to see how this plays out in the next couple of days, Todd. We're just, just catching our breath here, just going over this press release now. There's been speculation that, that someone might have to take the fall on this, and it looks like the first person, the first victim of this is... Justin Trudeau's closest advisor and one of his best friends. All right, and as you're speaking, Glenn, I, I, we've got this press release here in the studio as well. I know you've been going over it. You had a chance to look real quick, and I, I just want to mention, yeah. we talked about Jody Wilson-Raybould, former Justice Minister, Attorney General, who, of course, resigned a week ago, very abruptly left Cabinet uh, at the you know heart of all of this. And, and Gerald Butt says, I want to say a word about my relationship with Ms. Uh, Wilson-Raybould. I encourage her to run for the Liberal Party. Canada worked hard to support her as a candidate and then cabinet minister. From our perspective, my perspective, the relationship has always been defined by mutual respect, candor, and an honest desire to work together. And we're showing some video right now of Gerald Butts here in the glasses here at the center of the screen. Um, and I, I just want to get your take now on uh, the way that this has been sort of uh, framed, the resignation. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't try to influence her unduly. Um, I worked with her very closely, but I have now become a distraction to this government, so I am stepping aside. I am resigning. What do you make of it? It's very strange, because if he didn't do anything wrong, and he didn't put any pressure on her, and we know the Prime Minister had conversations, the Prime Minister has admitted having conversations with Jody Wilson-Raybould about this, claims that she brought it up to him and that he uh, told her it was her decision how to proceed. Uh, the question becomes, why is Jerry Butts resigning? Uh, what is it that he has done in that period that he feels he is now a liability to the Prime Minister's office that he has to step down? 
That's something the uh, members, the opposition members on the Justice Committee tomorrow are going to want to find out. Exactly why did he decide to quit? Uh, was he f pressured to quit? Uh, was it his own decision? Uh, was it a decision made with the Prime Minister and with Ms. Telford, who's his chief of staff? Or, um, I mean, it's just, it, it opens up so many new questions. Uh, honestly, th there had been a lot of pressure from the opposition to get answers from Mr. Butts. I don't think there was any serious call. Uh, for him to resign because we didn't have any evidence of him of him committing any wrongdoing. So the question now, Todd, is what did he do? Why does he feel he has to resign if, as he says, he conducted himself honorably in all those conversations uh, with Jody Wilson-Raybould? Uh, why is it that he has decided that he has to leave, that he should essentially be the guy who's now taking the fall for this. Yeah, you raise such a great point. Just a little bit more from this uh, really quite astonishing uh, press release has been sent out here about Gerald Butts resigning here. He says, at all times, I and those around me acted with integrity and a singular focus on the best interests of all Canadians. The Prime Minister's office, much larger, more important than any of its staff. I have served to the best of my abilities. He goes on to say, any accusation that I or the staff put pressure on the Attorney General is simply not true.